welcome to the english edition of around the globe abu ibrahim al hashmi al quraishi has become the leader of is that is islamic state in iraq and levant or islamic state of iraq and sham you can take whichever full form you want but arabs call it daesh the new spokesman is abu hamza al quraishi the 7 minute video which revealed these details has not given any other details other than confirming the death of abu bakr al baghdadi and his spokesman abu al hasan al mujahir both were killed allegedly by separate us special forces operations last week of october all the names of the current leaders reflect their unverifiable claim to be descendants of the qureshi tribe of makkah the dead caliph's real name was ibrahim awad ibrahim ali muhammad badri as-samurai later when he became self-styled caliph at the historic mosque in mosul he also styled himself as the descendant of the first caliph abu bakr president donald trump was gloating over the killing of al baghdadi conveniently covering up the recent history written in blood by his predecessors in iraq who have made hell out of one of the most prosperous countries in the gulf region the tumultuous history of the is started in 1999 when the jordanian resistance leader in iraq abu musab al sarkawi founded jamaat tawhid wal jihad to fight the american occupation it was an extreme form of salafism that they believed in after this death in 2006 it evolved through different forms into is al baghdadi was a prisoner of us military prison camp called camp buka a prison which has gained great notoriety for practicing unprecedented forms of torture and creating terrors in the process al baghdadi declared himself the caliph on the balcony of Anur Mosque in Mosul on 29th June 2011 for some time islamic state controlled an area bigger than many european countries but lost the last piece of land in march this year it has been able to attract around 35000 wild-eyed romantic youth from all over the world who had thought that a new golden age was about to dawn just like the leftist revolutionaries rushed to spain during the spanish civil war in 1938 they were shocked to find a bunch of fanatics who wanted to turn iraq and syria into an old world theocracy believing that the end of the world is well nigh near the online magazine the big was superbly produced beguiling product with short videos and dazzling visuals and gory fighting scenes and misquotes from religious treatises for early islam it worked as a major tool of recruitment of the IS fighters and the first self-declared caliph of the modern times has only left a long trail of blood and destruction Islamic state was a monster coming out of the swamp created by George Bush the junior in the deserts of Syria and Iraq Al-Baghdadi last appeared 
in video on September the 1st, 2019, in which he claimed that the attacks on Sri Lankan churches were the handiwork of Islamic State fighters taking revenge for the attack in Christchurch Masjid in New Zealand. Iraq is going through great political upheaval for the past one month. Already more than 250 people have been killed by the security forces. Thousands of young people have come to the streets. They demand the resignation of uh, Abdul Mahdi, the weakling of the Prime Minister. Fresh elections, changes in the electoral laws and trial of corrupt bureaucrats. It all started against the dismissal of a popular general, Abdul Wahab al Saidi. The protesters had spread to cities like Nasiriya, Vela, and Basra, all Shia strongholds. Nicknamed October Revolution, the uprising is against inept rule of Abdul Mahdi, who is leading a makeshift government without support from major political parties like Addawa. The country gets around $6 billion as oil money a month, but is poor as any other Arab state. The people are against undue Iranian influence and hundreds are staying in major Baghdad squares, reminding us of the squares in Cairo, the capital of Egypt. Thousands of students are joining them. Iraqi and Iranian paramilitaries are working jointly to crush the protest. Iraq shows that the extreme social, political and economic crisis created by the ill-advised U.S. invasion has reached point of no return. Most of the country's wealth goes to Shia priestly class and the government big guns. Ayatollah Ali Sistani, the supreme spiritual leader of Iraq, has warned against foreign agents trying to destabilize the country. But we will have to see whether his words would pacify the people. After a phase of rightist rule, Argentina has witnessed a dramatic comeback of the Peronists. Peronism is a heady mix of populism and left economic principles. Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, the former president, has become the new vice president, while Alberto Fernandez has been elected president. Right-wing president Mauricio Macri has lost the election. Macri has promised zero poverty but could not achieve much as he was relying on his neoliberal economic policies. Naturally, he could not convince the electorate which is facing acute deprivation. Christina's husband, Nestor Kishner, ruled the country during 2003 to 2007, which led to economic recovery in this big Latin American country. Incidentally, Latin America is witnessing a revival of progressive leftist politics and politicians. Post script. There is nothing unusual when superstars try to keep politicians in good humor and politicians never miss a photo op with them. Both live on publicity, paid or unpaid. But when Shah Rukh Khan, the superstar of Hindi film, went to Saudi Arabia and embraced Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince who has allegedly ordered the brutal killing and dismembering of Jamal Khashoggi, the noted Saudi journalist, his public relations exercise fell to the ground with a loud thud. Middle East Eye, the popular online magazine, found it appalling that SRK embraces a autocratic 
crown prince in Saudi Arabia. Then again, Shah Rukh Khan was in the news for another wrong reason. When celebrating 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, Shah Rukh Khan and his rival, Amir Khan posed with Modi, the man who presided over the pogrom of Muslims in Gujarat in 2002. Incidentally, Amir Khan is not the darling of Saffron Brigade. And as the Middle East eye says, superstars like SRK and Amir Khan often use and abuse their Muslim identity when it suits them. In war, politics and Bollywood, there are many strange bedfellows. ATG is signing off. Thank you for watching.